Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D. Lloyd and welcome back to episode 7 of our NBA Live 14 Dynasty Mode Series. This is your Christmas Day special game. Your Los Angeles Lakers sporting a 6-22 record. I know that sounds pretty bad. 6-22 are going to be taking on your first place Miami Heat. So I know this is an uphill battle, but hopefully we can get some momentum on Christmas Day and help us in this game. Let's start the game off right here. Nick Young's coming up with the steal. Steve Nash is going to push it up. He's going to throw it up and it's going to be thrown down by Jordan Hill. Now later on the game, Nick Young is hitting the three. And the Lakers are going to go up 5-4, to four, but now down 1. Look at Steve Nash going up and hitting the nice floater. They're going to go up by 1 point again. But here comes Shane Battier knocking down the 3 from the inbounds play. They're going to now go up by 2. LeBron hitting the step back jumper in Nick Young's face. But Steve Nash is not going to try to come off the pick and roll. He's going to find his man Big Al Jefferson who comes down with the layup. But Dwayne Wade going baseline, pulling up. He's going to knock it down. End of the first quarter, Shane Battier is going to get a three in before the first quarter ends. Now into the second quarter. Pay attention to the score because this is probably one of the worst quarters you will see in basketball from the Lakers. 34-17 to 17 at this point. They're already on the 8-0 run. You see LeBron James sizing up. He's coming in the lane. He's finishing with the jam. 40 to 17 at this point. Shane Battier is knocking down the three as well. They're now up 45-17. And look at Ray Allen also knocking down the deep two. 47 to 17 now. They're on the 19-0 run before the Lakers finally get a layup from Kobe Bryant. 49 to 21 later on. Kobe Bryant is spinning. He's trying to make up from that terrible beginning in that second quarter. He gets the layup. And here comes the missed three right now from Swaggy P. Here comes the Heat. They're going to push it down the court quickly as it finishes with the D-Way jam. The end of the first half, 57-32 to 32 for the Miami Heat. And look at that 33% shooting for the Lakers. They're trying to turn it around in the second half with Kobe Bryant hitting the turnaround jumper. Now getting it into the lane, and he's finishing it off with the nice layup. 63 to 40. Here comes Chris Bosch. Look at that reverse layup as he drove baseline and got that to fall. Later in the game, look at D. Wade hitting his own floater. He's getting that to fall as well. 72 to 42. Steve Nash gonna kick it out to Kobe Bryant, and he's gonna knock down the three. 45 72. Here comes LeBron pulling up, knocking him down in Wesley Johnson's face. Later, Dwayne Wade is also coming in the lane, and he is dunking all over Jordan Hill. Now, the end of the third quarter, look at Mario Chalmers. That was a nice spin move. He also finishes it with the dunk. Kobe now is going to kick it down to Steve Nash. He's going to knock down the three. That's going to end the third quarter, 88-254. But here comes the Lakers knocking down another three. Swaggy P gets it in. And here comes LeBron just being too big as he just bullies his way down low. Ray Allen at this point, he's going to knock down the three, put him up 101-67. Kobe Bryant is going to find his man, Nick Young. He's going to knock down the three. But the Miami Heat is going to kick it out of LeBron, and he's going to do it what he does. Well, now they're going to take this 111-77 in an embarrassing loss for the Los Angeles Lakers. They fall to 6-23. That's right, 6-23 at this point in the season. And we have the second worst record in the NBA, so we need to switch this up. And hopefully, I don't know, we're going to figure something out from here on out. But that's it for this episode. It's your boy D-Lord. Hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.